Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, hi. Listen, I'm at um, in my community here and uh, and showing one of the things that we're doing. Um, you may have recall the the recent uh, burglar issue whereby the, the 78 year old pensioner who actually uh, killed the burglar for coming into his property. Well, just want to show you some of the work that we're doing in the community as well uh, to show the type of um, community that we're in. Um, there's a lot of stuff which has been done and that the park which I'm in now, which is the lamppost coming to garden, it's um, something which is put together for the young people and like a little chill spot. Uh, we also gave it over briefly for the shrine or for the family to, of Mr. Vincent to uh, give uh, some flowers. But before I go any further, I'm going to talk to um, Teresa Webb who is the architect of this project and uh, and here she is <laughs> Teresa what's going oh. on here today ah, so funny. it's great <laughs> to see you again um, we've had a lot of family and friends around here today um, doing a community gardening event yes. uh, it started at 10 30 this morning and we're still here and it's almost like about 4 15 I think yes. um, we're doing um, a whole clean up and green up of yeah. this section here we've had supplies from the Croydon Community Garden yes. have donated some crocuses. Yes. So we've been planting crocus bulbs around here to grow for saffron. Okay. Um, our friend Patrick, who's had an allotment over um, locally in Catford, yes. has come over with all his tools to help sow some wildflower seeds. Yes. Um, we're growing a whole variety of different plants around here now. We've got different shrubs and everything. And as you can see in the distance here, we've yes. got some lovely decorations. Very decorative pieces which have been made by a local lovely lady called Helen. Yes, which is we that? Put around here today with her baby and husband. Yeah, we've yeah. got stars up here. It's a yarn bombing, it's called. Okay, okay. It's about putting decorative, pretty things onto the trees. The rainbow over here on the tree trunk. Yeah. And so it's about, it's all about encouraging neighbours, good neighbourliness, yes. and community members to come together to sort of plan for action really yeah. and take good steps together to transform our space and make it a much prettier space to live in. In, in the recent yeah. incident which, which happened um, recently regarding the, um, the gentleman and the burglary and the issue on the street, um, did you feel like when we gave over this space for the flowers, do you think it was a big deal or what do you thought about it? <laughs> I know that was your, per this is your personal baby, isn't it? It's, it's putting it on the spot. <laughs> I think it's... It's a community space, yes. which is primarily owned by the council, yes. so it's at their discretion and it's yes. at their responsibility as to what goes on. I yes. think what I would say is that it's in a better place yes. than at the end of our street where our neighbours were very disgruntled and actually unhappy about it. Yes. So yes. in the nicest possible way, I think Turner events that has occurred is in the best of all interests. Yes, yes. And it's, and, and it's out that way. Yeah. And um, what's happening here now? Well, it was. We have here Roz and your daughter. We're planting <laughs> some. Kayla, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Roz, what's going on? Yeah. So what we're doing is some kind people have donated us all sorts of plants from yeah. the community, and so we've got some compost from that we've made in our homes from old vegetables and, and um, carrot peels and those sorts of things, and we're just doing a bit of decorations. Okay. Um, we've been here most of the day doing planting seeds and planting different types of. Things. We've also been decorating the trees. Yes, yes. yes. Um, so some neighbours came and have helped us, and also some friends of neighbours. So we've got a lovely rainbow here. Yes. On this tree. We've got a little duck yes. on the next one. So I think that rainbow is actually a local councillor who tied that up. Okay. It's quite a nice symbol of peace in the area. It, exactly, and in light of what has been happening and here. This, and this <laughs> garden this evening has been, since this morning, we've probably had about 30 people in the garden. Okay, okay. So which has been really nice. We've had a lot of people visiting. We also managed to reunite a dog who got lost. A dog that lost, yeah. A dog that had got lost. So a kind neighbour had found the dog. The poor animal was very thirsty. Yeah. But we put the call out on Facebook and within about an hour okay. we managed to find who, who owned it. So that's right. great. So it's right, a really right. nice to see the community spirit just being rebuilt in the area again. And I guess we are looking forward to our street party very soon, isn't it? We have and we've actually been talking on this talking here today about yeah. the plans and possibly having it as two streets together, a big street party. Yeah. And yeah. uh, obviously important things like the choice of music, etc. <laughs> but in terms of today, I think the important thing was that we've planted lots 
lots of pollinating plants which is yeah. obviously good for the bees we've also done our best to make sure that the things we're using are upcycled yeah. so you know, when we've fixed the fence we've used the old bits of fence that are there already yeah. and actually one of the great things is almost everything that we've got has just been donated by local people Lovely. in terms yeah. of all the different plants have come from people's gardens some have come from other community gardens yeah. seeds that have been donated and yeah, so yes, we're very happy that we think the place is looking much more loved yes. and much more a space that people can come together and just yeah. be together. And 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 Teresa, yes. the the um the other bits there, right right down there. This is on some other flowers, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, we've had a hanging basket we've designed with hyacinth bulbs. Yeah. And more bunting made by Helen, and a little butterfly knitted by Rosie's mum up in Scotland. Yes. Moving along down here. There's a rather impromptu um, dream catcher, handcrafted by Roz. Yes. A Scottish spider has appeared down here, and it's web. So I guess you're not afraid of spiders. So, no. <laughs> Real or dead? That's it, exactly. I'm the daughter of an entomologist. I can't be scared of anything like this. I have to like creepy crawlies. It's part of my nature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, we have um, more crocuses and bulbs that have gone in here yeah. as well. There's alleyway, alleyway work going on. Yeah, we're going to walk here. around there briefly. Yeah. 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 Um, we have a of things. We've got little things in the trees here, and following up all your handiwork that was here. Do you remember? Oh yeah, I did that. Yeah, yeah. See how look, see how this is blossoming and wow, growing. Wow, wow, energy, wow. You need well. to tell him. Into, so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is my handiwork right here. Yeah? <laughs> this is. This, I remember the day when I did it, and I said, "You got to put your hands." And I think I actually. I didn't use any gloves that day, didn't I? No. no. So I put my actual hands, and this was from. Um, um, I learned that from my school in Jamaica, which was York Castle High School, when we have agriculture classes. You know, so ladies and gentlemen, that is all the way from 1983, 84, 85, York Castle High School, Jamaica, where I learned agriculture, and I applied it here, right here in London, UK, under the watch of Teresa, of course. <laughs> awesome. So, 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 yeah, go. On. Yes, we, we really appreciate your skills, and your <laughs> talents, and your services on that occasion. Okay. Yeah. More little hearts and uh, stars, decorative stars in yes. amongst the flowers here, which is nice here. And yeah. we've got a beautiful blossom going on now. Yes, yes. Um, from all the cherry blossom outside. Um, and more decorative parts on the hedge, the Hawthorn hedge. Yeah. Now we've been having meetings with the um, council group yeah. that run this, with Glendales. Yes. And they're coming down on Tuesday to have a chat to me about. Um, monitoring this hedge and, and making it into a level yes. uh, so it's much more sort of leveled out and then having a little scalloped yeah. edges in it like a, a wave formation yeah. so to make yourself, it easier to yeah. see in and out. Why are you so passionate about this Teresa? <laughs> I enjoy gardening, I enjoy life and life means gardening to me yeah, it's yeah. part of you know, growing our food where, where nature comes from really it's all about this sort of thing and engaging one another. And everyone I've seen today, I mean, I wish I had a checklist. You know, next time I'll have a register or something yes, because we must yes. have about 25 people have come through here this, since this morning, since wow. 30. Let's, let's walk Amazing. around. Let's walk yeah. around to the outside. And, and ladies and gentlemen, this is the, this is further green, um, Verdant Lane. Um, as you can see, lovely neighborhood here. And we're walking towards some, this is an alley, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, so what's happening here now, yeah? So here we've been planting down the sides with gladiolo bulbs and lucidia bulbs and also a lot of seeds. Yes. Which we've been sponsored by, by Grow Wild. Okay. This is a company which is connected to Kew Gardens. Okay. And we're really thankful to them for all their funding and their support. Yes. Um, annually really continuous support they're fantastic wow. they've been donating us seeds for the past 18 months now yes, yes. and we're planting them along here really to grow in a space that's suitable for all members of the family to come out yes. all members of the community where you can have pollinators that you know really support um the the bees and the butterflies and yeah. the wildlife around here because because uh people sometimes used to use this area for what were they they're, Fly tipping, isn't it? Previously, it was an area where there was some fly tipping. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, and indeed, we're looking forward to making it into an area in a space which is really bright. I mean, this year as a space as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 totally. To where, uh, I mean, this is a it's a owned by it's a privately owned piece yes. of land. We're speaking to the neighbours next week about this. Um, but currently, at the moment, we're brightening it up in a happy place wow. to make it nice and attractive yes. and to retain access yes. to this area. And important. that's the power of neighbourhood, isn't it? It With is the neighbourhood yeah. and everything like that. Um, it's great. So have a chat with Patrick over here. Patrick, yeah. hey, how are you? <laughs> Hello. Thanks. So Patrick, what are you doing now? What's... I'm 
<laughs> sowing, I'm sowing wild uh, flowers. Wild flowers, yeah. Seeds. Yes. So they should be up in about six weeks. Six weeks time? Okay. Maybe full flowers. Oh, Hopefully wow. this place will look completely different. It wow. should look like the tree out. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> And of course, it is springtime now, isn't it? Yes. And we've got a. Is this a false alarm summer? We got people yeah, saying, it is. Yeah, it's, yeah, is that a real? Snow, it's snow last week. <laughs> it's gonna snow next week? No, we had oh. it last week. <laughs> <laughs> We're expecting rain in a few minutes. Yes, yeah. And you're from the neighborhood as well, isn't it? Uh, yes, originally. Yes, yes. I'm yes. living in Croydon. Okay, so you, you came down all the way to make sure we look good. Yes, and I came, <laughs> I came last week as well and the week before. Yeah, yeah. But I what, think what, I'm. There's no road. There's no road too far for me to travel. Wow! 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 And of course, maybe we can do a drive right here eventually. Yeah, it'd be here. lovely to have seats. <laughs> well, or it's going to be hard to have seats and um, little decorative things like um, really yeah. you're planning to have wind to chimes and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they want to make up exactly to make it a really pretty little place to actually come and be like a little Private pub space. Place for people yeah, to yeah. To sit in yeah. And exactly. Go. Because Teresa, yeah. in, in, a, in a big city like London, sometimes the green spaces is missing, isn't it? Yeah, you have to go to this a public the park, like, and you don't, yeah. like everybody sees, but everybody gets to interview you before you get to see whatever it can be seen. And yes. it's not very easy to sit in a place where maybe people are abusing alcohol or maybe the f different things going on, and you would say to yourself, is there any place that I, they aren't at this? So yeah. this could be possibly one of them. Right, right, right. And and of course it could get some massive award, Teresa, isn't it? God willing, yeah. <laughs> We're looking at fundraising. We're looking at fundraising, so. <laughs> yeah. So so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, um, you know, this is the work which is being done in the community as well. And um, and it's important I, I would say for persons to actually tap into their neighborhood because your neighborhood is actually where you live, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just like I said, a man's castle is his home. Yes. And his neighborhood is his kingdom, <laughs> and his and his, and his, and his dominion, where everybody was using that code because it's important. You got to take pride in, in where yeah. you live because this is like your backyard, isn't it, Teresa? Yeah. This is it exactly. It's like an extension of our home. So it's only for the fact that we've got fences up around. Fences us, up, yeah, yeah. That it makes it look like a little, now a little place. Beforehand, this all used to be like countryside yes. areas and the land around yes. us used to be all orchards and farmland. Yes, yes. And that's what we're trying to sort of bring back that feeling into yeah. place again, so it yeah. feels greener. Despite the fact that the South Circular is not yes, yes, that way, yes, yes. Main road here. and people wouldn't yes. believe that this is right in in the middle of London. Sometimes I think it, maybe it's in Kent, isn't it, yeah, or it's somewhere it's in the sub in yeah, the in countryside, Yorkshire, or Yorkshire, or Yorkshire exactly. or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, thanks, it's Patrick. No Thank <laughs> okay, you. the Teresa, let's just okay. walk a bit further down here. Okay. Um, so, 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 fences and everything. Yeah? Please be mending all our fences up here. Oh, wow. We're bringing tools oh, wow. from his allotment oh, wow. today. This this thing here, look. Yes. This amazing tool here has been a great help today. It's like wow. a rotary blade. Wow, wow. Um, and of course, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, that's nothing for me to do. I do that normally easily. <laughs> <laughs> don't, but, but, don't see a pretty little <laughs> but, 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 but Teresa, at the same time, you know, regarding like even got the, the whole thing which was happening in the neighborhood, I, it, it's so important that um, yeah. at the end of the day, we were actually accommodating as well for the family of the burglar, isn't it? To a certain extent, they I mean, had a tribute that was um, moved yeah. down from where it was on yeah. private property and private land yes. into a space. Which into was a space, yes, yes. Not privately owned. Not privately owned. And, and therefore, the council took that decision. Yes. Um, to put that in place. Yeah. And 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 yes, yeah, so it's a council who actually is um, dealing it's with. Their land. Is their land, it's their land, and they are dealing with it as well. Yeah. But we are just um, at the end of the day, we are actually just um, doing our best to make our home environment look good and and it's so important for neighbors for neighbors like your neighborhood watch and all those sort of things that is something which we pride on that you take care of your space you know what i mean and if anything you can ask teresa teresa can come and give some advice right teresa of course yeah i'll be happy to advise i'll be doing some training and some consultancy that kind of thing it's good as well so yeah keep in touch yes keep yes yes and yes. you'll be in touch and um and so so thank you very much and this is um the the Verdant Lane lamppost. Lamp Tell us about the lamppost. Tell us the background of the okay. lamppost. Yes. So our lamppost. Let's walk inside. Yeah. yeah. Let's go this way. Let's let's do some backdrop for the garden. Yes. Okay. And 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 watch. Look at look at look in the background there. A yeah. chip of the old block. What you see there is my daughter. Look at her. Look at her there. Look at that. Look at her. Look at her there. Look at her. <laughs> She's with her gloves. She with her gloves. Everything. You know. 
you know, six years of age, and she's actually getting deep down in there, you know. In London, can you imagine? In London, you can do some gardening, get the children out there in the summer. Okay. So you're saying about the lamppost now, lamppost project, and we're yeah. emanated from here. We have an eye, a plan to reinstate some of the old lampposts which are around the area. Yeah. And that is very ornate. Um, just post-Victorian lampposts, which were just really lovely. They've been in the streets for, for years, over 50 years, and they were replaced a couple of years ago. Um, there's a company, Scancia, that took them out, and we campaigned to set up a petition locally yeah. in our area to save the local lampposts yeah. and to put them back in place. And unfortunately, they couldn't... Free them to the lampposts, yeah? Absolutely, free the lampposts. <laughs> the lampposts. Yeah, totally. Um, and to use them in a natural way, like upcycling them into new things, like yeah. using them as um, seat bases for chairs. Yeah for um, bird baths, for signposts, and doing decorative things with them. Yeah. So we've had a, an architect come and talk to us about things, and a designer yes. about making them into uh, umbrellas. Yes, Like yes. a sculptural piece. Yes. To have a sculptural piece of um, sort of artistic activity taking place here as well. So I think that's the really interesting thing, is that it's so diverse. Um, a way of sort of incorporating different things into this area yeah. Yeah. and different ranges of opinion as to how this space could be used or should be used in a way. But I think what we really want to feel into is the fact that it can be a space for everyone to feel calm and collected yeah. and to meditate and just, and just feel that they can yeah. take some time out of their yeah. day before getting home with yeah. the, the pets or the kids or the dog, whatever it is. And just to sit around, and it's a very you know, a dog friendly space area. We've had a lot of dog walkers around here today. Yeah. We've spoken to a family who even found their dog through the garden here today. Yeah. So it's been finding itself um, quite a, a useful kind of space. Like this. And we're we having street <coughs> parties and that kind of thing. Yeah, too? yeah. And, 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 and one of the things, Teresa, is that because I've got a lot of people also um, who is watching and they're from Jamaica. Okay. Yeah. You've, got a, you've got a relationship with Jamaica, <laughs> isn't it? Do, yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm part Jamaican on my mum's side. Um, my mum's father and her grandfather um, are both Jamaican as well. So it makes her about a fifth Jamaican, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My great grandfather yeah. was one of the, James Jackson Brown, Dr. James Jackson Brown, was one of the first black doctors to come over from St. Thomas region. Um, St. Thomas, Jamaica, Lisa, not St. Yeah. Thomas Hospital, okay? St. Thomas, in Jamaica, that's right. <laughs> we were a large landowner, we had a large plantation space, and he was one of nine children um, who realised that he wanted to study medicine quite early on. He trained in Canada, didn't like the snow, too much snow out there, and so he thought he'd come over to here to England, to London, where he trained um, with the surgeon to King George V yes. at the time. Um, and then he grew to have a practice, a doctor's practice in Hackney, and where his son, my mum's dad, took over. Yes. And sadly, my mum's dad died when she was about 12 and a half, and her grandfather as well. But we've carried on down the family line doing... Um, natural, organic, medicinal things. Yes, 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 yes. So yes. all these kind of farming ideas that we're thinking about now, yes. doing a lot of like organic growing yes. and gardening, it's sort of it's in our blood. Yes, yes. And also foraging too. Yes. Which is like picking up the nettles for nettle tea yes, yes. and the cleavers for a natural cleanser and a liver right. detox. This is all what we'll be doing and talking about on May, Saturday, May the 12th or May yes. the 19th. So May the 12th or um, May the 19th? What's that? Yeah. Uh, it's part, we're having some foraging walks okay, okay. at Manor Park as part of the Hither Green Festival Week. Okay, Hither okay. Green Festival Week, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. In fact, now... The positive things about Hither Green. Yeah. <laughs> Change the narrative from what the news have been saying about Hither Green. <laughs> we have a 10-year anniversary yeah. of the Hither Green Community Association and the Hither Green Festival. Yes. So we're having three weeks, yes. including three weekends of parties and activities, wow. learning about wow. the history, the wow. nature, the food, all of that, mm -hmm. culminating um, in a fair on the 12th up at the Clock Tower okay. in Hither Green Lane. Okay. And I'm running public walks talking about nature and um, foraging for food and making right, teas right, and natural food like right, this as well. Right, right. And looking at the natural herbal remedies, which is what we did in Jamaica back in the day. You have right. your bush herbs, yeah. you have your sour and, and all those sort of things exactly. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So back to back to the earth, isn't it? Yeah. From the earth to the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, um, as I said, um, this is just a quick one. Just to show what we're doing in the community as well. Um, Teresa, thank you very much for that brief one. Okay. And um, of course, people, if you want to tap into the skill set of Teresa, I'm her agent. <laughs> <laughs> you can visit me at kitchenbuddies.eu <laughs> and on social media at kitchenbuddy. So, okay. So, how they can get to, so, what is how they can reach you? If okay. Anything? Um, yeah. My website's www.kitchenbuddies. Dot EU, that's K I T C H E N B U D D I E S 
www.thefoodbank.eu, which is like having a friend in the kitchen to show you how to make all the delicious dishes that you want to make, um, particularly gluten-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, sugar-free foods. And my name is Theresa Webb, capital T-H-E-R-E-S-A. Yeah, and what we'll do, we'll, we'll type it in. We're gonna, okay, we're, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna type it in, type it in here as well. So thank you, um, ladies and gentlemen. As Thanks you can see, online. thank you, Teresa. See you again. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm just having a, a final look around here. This is the, this is a park here. Just one more look. Here it is. A green space, right in the heart of Catford, right in the, in the beautiful community. Okay guys, as I said before, one of, the, one of the things that I'm very passionate about a lot is um, community, community spirit. Um, while my political side and everything like that, but I love people and I love community, which is very important. I stress a lot on neighborhood watch. Neighborhood watch is so important because what it does is more than just a security aspect. It's more about taking care of your neighbors, about taking care of your green space. As I said before, when I'm interviewed by the major national network is your home is your castle and your neighborhood is your kingdom or your dominion so you want to need to take control of your neighborhood right and do some practical actions out there this is this is this is life you know what i mean as you can see my six-year-old daughter is here as well doing the the bits of um gardening and stuff like that you've seen the flowers which i planted uh, a couple of years ago um, um what i learned from your castle high school in in jamaica so so therefore so wherever you are wherever you live take control of your space meet your neighborhood and go for it thank you very much ladies and gentlemen i'm silburn sidil and i'm out and uh sorry for the noise there we're on the main street and um all the best peace out see ya